I'm willing to bet that you've all heard about the cardiovascular system, the system in which blood is transported around the body. But did you know there's also another system for moving fluids in the body? So what is the lymphatic system? In a nutshell, you can think of the lymphatic system as a bit of a cleaner that picks up excess fluid and its constituents from your tissues and returns it to your blood vessels again. The lymphatic system also houses your immune cells and helps them to mature. It also plays a role in filtering microbes such as bacteria. Lymph vessels can be found almost everywhere in the body, with the exception of the central nervous system, bone marrow and tissue that do not have blood vessels, such as the lens of the eye. As mentioned, the lymphatic system has many roles in our body, such as maintaining fluid balance, interactions with villi to aid fat absorption, and an immunological function. There are about 600 lymph nodes in the body. These are masses of lymph tissue which are found along the lymph vessels. They function as checkpoints. They check the blood by analysing the sample of plasma that's gone through the vessels. They also filter the, the fluid so that it is clean when returned to the blood. The right lymphatic duct takes fluid from the right arm, right side of the thorax and right side of the head to the internal jugular vein. The thoracic duct takes lymph from the rest of the body to the subclavian vein. In addition, there are also special lymphoid organs such as the tonsils, adenoids, thymus and the spleen. Some of these organs contain special cells which fight off infection while others such as the thymus are involved in training immune cells to function optimally. The lymphatic system plays a key role in the immune system. If you are injured and break the skin, harmful microbes can enter the body. They will come into contact with the interstitial fluid which can enter the lymphatic system. The lymph travels to the nodes where it is inspected by lymphocytes which can trigger macrophages or the general immune system. Sometimes the lymph node can become overwhelmed with microbes, leading it to become inflamed and enlarged. But lymph nodes are not the only checkpoints. There are also special organs and tissues known as mucosa-associated lymphoid tissues, aka MOLTs, which can be found in mucous membranes outside of the lymphatic vessels. Among these are the tonsils. These are some of the largest lymphatic tissues and are found in the pharynx for a reason. This allows them to inspect everything that is ingested to try and stop bacteria entering the stomach. Peyer's patches are also another collection of MOLTs and are found at the end of the small intestine. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. I hope you have a great day.